Happy Sananan, Selamat Hari Natal, Merry Christmas. First of all, I would like to express my gratitude to God Almighty for still giving me the opportunity and prosperity to this day. We know this year the whole world community is shaken by the pandemic COVID-19. Pandemic that has spread since the beginning of 2020 until now. This situation causes us to face various challenges that affect the economy and social impact in this country. The people are faced with issues such as job loss and sources of income. Under the Movement Control Order, MCO, Malaysia suffers a loss of 2.4 billion every day. Meanwhile, under the Conditional Movement Control Order, PKPB, the country loses 300 million a day. Some say lost money can be replaced, but life will never return. In this regard, I would like also I would also like to take this opportunity to express my condolences to those who have lost their loved ones due to COVID-19. I pray that each one of you will be spread from this disease. Let us pray that the frontline staff will be given strength and wisdom the Almighty God in carrying out the duties day and night to ensure that this pandemic is successfully controlled, then the patients recover through the treatment of medication. Brothers and sisters, I have to admit that PH plus, I myself included, have not been empathic enough for the opposition when we were in federal and state governments. We started to offer constituency development funds in the area to opposition MPs and state assembly persons and others, which was not done at the moment. However, we refuse to treat the opposition colleagues as equals and give them the equitable amount of CDF. We had held back some of the CDF to be managed by our party colleagues on various excuses. We were wrong. PH Plus must have the courage to admit our mistakes. We should have loved our neighbors, even if they are in different parties, like we love ourselves and colleagues in our parties. For that, I must express my sincere admiration to Perak's new MB, Dr. Sharani Muhammad, for his groundbreaking announcement on December 15 of equal CDF to all 59 adults, regardless of party affiliation. Dr. Sharani Muhammad has given Malaysians an invaluable and exemplary practice of multi-partitionship as the parting gift for the stormy year of 2020. I want to also register my highest respect for the wisdom of my PH colleagues in Perak, led by the state's inaugural legislative opposition leader, Abdul Aziz Bari, for making this possible via the first confidence and supply agreement, CSA, in Malaysia. AMNO and PH in Perak have shown Malaysians how politics can be professional and gentlemanly. That we politicians can rigorously, sincerely collaborate with each other like athletes of great sportsmanship. I call upon Prime Minister Tan Sri Muhyiddin Yassin and all Menteri Besar, Chief Ministers of other states, to emulate the model set in Perak by Dato Sharani Muhammad. The federal government must give 3.5 million ringgit to all 222 MPs, the same amount of CDM. So must all 12 other state governments do all the respective adults based on their capacities to provide, for instance, 3.5 million each for Sabah and 200,000 for the states in the peninsula. I personally call upon my Chief Minister, Datu Sri Panglima Haji Haji Jino, to give equitable CDM to adults and MPs in Sabah. In Sabah, MPs are given CDFs by Sabah State Government, but those allocated for opposition MPs are customarily channeled to the division head of the leading government party. This practice is wrong, and I urge DSP Hajiji to correct it. The Sato Division Chiefs do not need CDM but opposition MPs needed to help their hostels. I look forward to the soonest opportunity to discuss this matter with the Chief Minister. I also call upon my visionary friends 
Selangor Menteri Besar Yang Memohon Datuk Seri Amiruddin Ben Syari Penang Chief Minister Yang Memohon Chow Kun Yeo Negeri Sembilan Menteri Besar Yang Memohon Datuk Seri Amiruddin Harun Johor Menteri Besar Yang Memohon Datuk Hasni Muhammad dan Perlis Menteri Besar Yang Memohon Datuk Seri Azraman to step up their actions to expedite the arrival of equitable CDM as in the I pray that Malaysia will be blessed with empathy, compassion, and sportsmanship in politics in 2021. Happy New Year, and thank you very much.